What are you making today? Start of the week, what have you got for right, us? Right, so we've got a cracker today. This yeah. is really good, really fast uh, and really full of flavour. Steamed fish, got ginger on there, a little Yum. bit of chilli, a little bit of uh, Chinese rice wine, really Ooh. fast, simple, healthy. Yes. And then some good old classic prawn fried rice. That is brilliant, packed with flavour. This is a good way to start the week. It's going to be delicious. We'll get all the tips and tricks from Mark a little later in the show. Great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen. And we've got a quick and healthy Asian dish for you to make at home today, Mark. And I'm loving the ingredients that I see before my eyes. Is it complicated though? No, no, it looks good. a lot, but it's really easy. Oh, and, it, good. and it's all it's all about freshness as well. Okay. Fresh and healthy, um, quick food. Good, nice. Flavoursome, so, nice to make. Ginger? That's it, yep, ginger. All right, so just going to do a julienne of this. Okay, nice. And we're, and we're using, you know, you can use any fish for this recipe. But today we've got snapper. So, so it's really good. And this is going to take, you know, it's going to be really fast as well because we've got like a thin fillet there. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to take long to cook. That's right. Um, you know, you can use different fish. Hopoka's really nice, you know, really okay. sort of chunky, meaty fish. Yeah. Um, and there's a little tip. If you do use a nice, big, chunky piece of fish or monk fish or something like that, yeah. and it's really thick, you know, just make an incision inside and just put a little bit of ginger and spring onion and chilli inside and a little bit of coriander Ooh. and you'll get all those flavours um, in the mid middle of the fish as well, you know? Great. So it's really good. Okay, well, nice. But because we've got like a little um, uh, piece of uh, snapper, I'm just going to do a bed of these ingredients and then the fish is going to um, just get popped on top, it's okay. going to pop in the steamer Okay. and then it's going to uh, just uh, steam and gather flavour as we're steaming. I like but your steamer too because what you've managed to do is improvise really, haven't you? Well, yes. Uh, great, no, well we have well, to no, do that because not, not everyone's yeah, got a right. steamer. That's um, right. At home. You know, if you've got one of those little bamboo steamers, great, you know, use that, that's fine. Um, that's what they're there for. If not, you can get a pot, mm -hmm. get a lid, I love it, and a colander. There you go. And there you go. It's uh, yeah. You, yeah, so you should go and see Holly, mate. Yeah. You should sell a few of those. <laughs> Put All right. them in Holly's store. <laughs> so we've got our ingredients there. So we've got a nice little bed of um, flavours there. I'm just going to trim trim the fish down just so it sort of fits on the plate. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to uh, trim it down too much. I guess you basically just fit to size. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. I mean, uh, ideally, you know, if you have got one of those bamboo steamers, you've got a little bit more space in there. True. Um, but that's fine. Right, some more ingredients on top. A little bit more ginger. Yep. Spring onion and a little bit more chilli. And then we've got a little bit of rice, uh, oh, sorry, uh, Chinese cooking wine on top as well. Okay. It's going to give us a little bit more flavour. There you go, you can pop that in the steamer. Just be careful because it is, uh, there's lots of steam there. So let's steam clear and then pop your plate in. Thanks. <laughs> it's like you said that, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Just like that. Yeah, there you go, and pop the lid on. Cool. And then it's gonna build up the steam again and then it's gonna cook. Brilliant. So you probably want to keep an eye on this. I reckon it'll probably take sort of maybe six, six to eight minutes okay. or so. You can have a look at it, keep checking it. Um, it's obviously going to turn white. You're going to be able to feel it, and it's going to sort of just sort of separate those, um, you know, uh, pieces of meat of uh, pieces of fish. Really healthy way to cook, isn't it? Yeah, and Brilliant. great, and, and you get so much flavour from this as well. It's just it's such an easy way of cooking, and I don't know why we don't do it more. Right, I'm going to make a little dressing. Okay, what have you got? So there? a little bit more of the wine. Uh, cooking wine. Yeah, yeah, shoshink. Uh, some soy sauce. Uh, just sugar. a pinch of sugar. Yep. I've got some black peppercorns, which okay. I'm going to pop in there, and you can uh, uh, make yourself useful and uh, grind <laughs> them down there. Go in there as well. I was waiting for it. Just a tiny pinch of salt and some sesame oil. And I just want to lightly warm this together. Yeah. I'm also going to put a little bit more chilli through there. Not so I squashed a bit of chilli on you. Oh, cheers. There you go. So just going to dice that up just a little bit, just to give it that kick. And I'm going to put some more ginger through it as well. Okay, cool. Is that good yeah, enough? Yeah, yeah, cool. Just a pinch of that. Oh, just a pinch. Oh, yeah, good yeah. thing you said that. I was about to tip it all in. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, and then maybe a little bit more, eh? Put it, yeah, that's it. Good that's work. it. But like you're learning to be a chef now. Yeah. Just, just <laughs> a little throw, bit, of throw it in, yeah, more, a bit yeah. more. So you just want to lightly warm this and it will just get all these flavours to come together, uh, leach into the dressing and then we'll just finish the fish with that a little bit later. You don't want to boil this or reduce this because you're going to lose all those flavours and it's going to become sticky and salty. We're not after that. Very right. light, fresh uh, dish. Right, I've got a wok warming up as well. Yes. And then when we come back, I'm going to show you how to make this prawn fried rice. Excellent. I tell you what, it is so quick and things are smelling incredible here. So as Mark said, we'll show you how to do the next part very soon. We are in the kitchen and we're finishing off this very fragrant smelling dish today. The fish is coming along nicely. What right, do you so reckon? We'll have, we'll have a look at the fish. Longer. 
I reckon I reckon that's pretty good, you know, if you just feel your fish there, we're just yep. going to leave it in there, just let it rest as it's cooling down. Okay. As we finish the rest of the dish. Right. Dressing, turn that off. Nice. You know, so it's got all those flavours there, it's still nice and liquidy. Bit finish it off with a bit of coriander, you that's good do. to go. Nice. Right, hot wok. A little bit of oil in the wok. Yeah. Right, egg fried rice, so we need an egg. So, just going to whisk an egg up. I don't think I've ever made egg fried rice apart from here at the cafe, once. Oh, this is this is classic yeah. uh, Chinese takeaway. I think you taught me once a couple of years back. Forgotten already. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky that's, we're making it again. No, then. and that's why you've got a book out, Mark, isn't it? Well, that's it. I right, so it. really hot. Yeah. Get the egg in. We're going to cook the egg first. So we're just going to keep cooking it. So you're making a bit of like a, a bit like a, the omelette we made the other day. That's that's what we're making. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this is what you want. So we're just cooking it, and that's it. You know, it's so hot. Wow. We're going to take that out. We're going to stir through that um, a little bit later. So get the wok back on. Yes. Get the heat back up, and then we're going to start. More oil. Yeah. And what are we going to start with? Right, and then we've got some prawns here. So I'm just going to start with the prawns. Are you dice so, them up? Yep. Yeah, just going to cut them just into nice little chunks. Um, so this is just prawn meat. You've got the shells on them here. If you've got the tails, tail part of the shell, you can just pull it off and then just chop it up. Right, that's going to go in the wok. I love prawns so much that I don't even take the tail off now. I just, I just no, eat, but it, eat the whole thing. Yeah. But that's it as well. I mean, you, you can, you know, if you fry yeah. it and it's nice and crispy, it's, uh, I think it's just laziness. <laughs> no, well, yeah, think, texture, it's think, texture. It's laziness, I think, yeah. Right, so the key to fried rice, you need to cook this rice before. Okay. So ideally 24 hours um, ago. Okay. Right, so you've got it, have it in the fridge so it's all dried out, it's all um, cold and it's all sort of like loose like that. And that's what you want. If you try and make fried rice with like hot fresh rice, yes. it's just going to go into one like mound. Okay, so there's your, that. there's your tip. So if you, if you are cooking rice the day before, cook a little bit extra and then you know you can have fried rice the next day. Nice. And then we're going to pop that in there now. Nice. So a couple of handfuls, and then you just want to start frying it now. Okay. So that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it. You want to start frying it, and then we've got some sauces here to add to it. So you can add as little or as much as you want. What do you yeah. like? <laughs> a um, lot of it or a lot? I mean, I'm not. I tell you, I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of peas and stuff. And the boys at work, they'll tell you, I hate peas in staff meal. But I do like peas in fried rice, strangely okay. enough. It's just, yeah, no, it's a bit weird. Well, but it's a um, combination of all the different flavours that makes the peas taste more delicious. Well, yeah, it's just, it's just yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's green. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. But it actually works. So peas, you know, just a, just a little handful of uh, yeah. frozen peas in there. It's actually quite nice. Obviously the egg. Yes. And then we've got the soy in there. I've got a little bit of oyster sauce in here as well today. A little bit of chilli sauce as well if you want to give it a kick. Um, you know, and you can keep going. You can put exo sauce in there. You can put the char siu, you know, the little uh, Chinese roast pork in there if you want. Yum. Keep it all fish or just have it just as rice. Just as simple as some fried rice with a bit of egg and some soy. So I'm going to put a little bit of soy in there. A little bit of this oyster sauce and you can just stir all this in. And then, so all you're really doing now is just sort of frying it and you're just getting all those flavours back into it. You know the Ooh. prawns are cooked. Smelling we'll good. Put the egg in there, break that all through it. Okay. And then in the recipe before, we used the white part of the spring onion. Yeah. Now we're going to use the green part of the spring onion. So just chop it before you need it, nice and fine. And then we're just going to throw that through last minute. Oh, brilliant. This is smelling and looking so professional. Okay, good. Doesn't take long at all, does it? No, no, it's, dish. it's really fast, you know, so that, there it is, that's ready. Cool. You know, so if you've got the rice already pre-cooked and cold, you know, you can start frying your fried rice whilst your fish is cooking, make the dressing and just, you know, all you've got to do then, pour a little bit of the dressing over the fish. Look at that, packed full of flavour, nice hot fried rice. Better oh. than the takeaway, that. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, this looks amazing, Mark. Well Look done. That. How good is that? Brilliant. Good. Healthy, fresh, yum.